Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Scorpio with a clear and concise message from you. Alright, so let me get a drink of water. Okay. Scorpio, you got the same person plaguing your readings. Like every reading is about, I don't know, some man that just won't get over it. The fact that it's over, it's done. It could be a marriage. It could be a long-term love affair. Someone who maybe you played house with. I don't know. But this person is always here. He's always showing up. He can't get over the fact that it is over with the Ten of Swords. It is done. This is the culmination of it. This is the the full manifestation, the fullness. So that means if something is full, there's no room for good. There's no room for bad, right? It's full. It's done. If somebody says we're full to capacity, there's just no room. So this person can't get over the fact that this is the fullness of the manifestation. It's over. It's done. This card talked about not being able to get over a breakup. This person is making me agitated, irritated. I don't know if they're doing this to you. It's like somebody can't get over it. <clears throat> they're coming up as the Eight of Swords in two different decks. We got the Eight of Swords here also. Somebody, this could be you, Scorpio. Um, whomever it is, you know, get in where you fit in. Let the story resonate how it does. Um, this person is waiting for you. It's like they're giving up agency of change. Like, okay, this person doesn't want me, so I just need to go in another direction. I need to change my direction. This person won't do that. It's like they're stuck. They're stagnant. They're waiting for somebody to come and rescue them with a message, a word. And it looks like you guys are not even talking. This person goes over and over and over in their head um, about what they didn't do, what they didn't say. None of the thoughts about how they can actually fix it and how they can move forward or how they can look at, they need to look at their limited perspective and, and kind of grow from that, graduate from that and think up, you know, think bigger. This person is just stuck, whomever this is. This person could also be stuck because there might be an element of you know, stuck in terms of, it's like a monetary thing, like, well, if they're not going to be with me, you know, I'm not going to have this type of money or this kind of money or this amount of money or something, I don't know, but whatever this is, it's making this person paralyzed. It could be that you aren't talking to them with the eight of wands in reverse. It could be that you are not giving attention to them with the Six of Wands in reverse. Or this is you. There was like a cheating scandal here where somebody was doing something scandalous. But it looks like the other party who was getting cheated on, they ended up being the victor. Or they ended up getting the victory in this. Um, they ended up walking away. They ended up winning the battle here. That was this cheateration situation. You know, um, and so this other person is just plagued. Scorpio, if somebody's not talking to you, it could be an air sign, it could be a Gemini, it could be anybody. But if someone is not talking to you, that you're waiting for them to talk to you, you're waiting for them to come back. You're realizing that you have love for them, but... I don't know if this is um, something that they feel like they can trust. All of a sudden, you feel like you have feelings for them. And you want things to change. You feel like to be with them is your destiny. This is your soulmate, twin flame, whatever you subscribe to. You feel like this is a destined union. But you're doing nothing in order to make it come together. Or you feel like you have to sacrifice somebody else or something else in order to be with this person. But you're doing nothing in order to make it come together. You want to rush in their direction. But you might be too egotistical, narcissistic, 
prideful. You never thought you would fall in love like you did with some of you. This was an outside person. This is one of these layered connections. Some of you, this was somebody you were married to, you are married to. They can't get over the fact that it is over, it is done. Somebody's gone and found spiritual guidance and clarity and they've gone and found religion, whatever that may be for them. Religion and spirituality, they're getting some actual guidance in terms of how to reconstruct their life or construct their life. This person is holding firm to their foundation. And it, for them, it might be if their mother is them, themselves and their children in their home. And that's it. And it just doesn't include anything or anybody else. For some of you, you, you're already a married Scorpio. If somebody outside of your connection is not talking to you and not giving you attention... And it's driving you nuts. Because you think the relationship is over. You're waiting for them to reach out. You could live at a distance from each other. You feel like you're in love with them now. But absence makes the heart grow fonder. I'm not exactly sure that this will stay. These feelings will stay if this person comes back. It might go back to how it used to be. This could be a connection that never really got off the ground and never grew any traction and never turned into a real relationship. Um, somebody didn't make a choice of two people or singlehood or being in a commitment. Somebody didn't make the decision. Somebody chose to stay in an unhappy, you know, unharmonious connection maybe with a family dynamic somebody wants to come out of separation and they're either stalking you Scorpio or you're stalking them you're thinking of the passionate sex and the love making and you feel like this is your this is your lover this is a significant union for you and they, you want to reignite this but you have Nothing and very little to offer this person. Or vice versa. This is what they have to offer you. If you do take the bait. Scorpio, this is your reading. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link if you're feeling moved to do so thank you take care